welcome to my other video segment. My name is Mwari Mbafachi. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Please subscribe so that you're not missing out any other video. And in this video, I bring to you the fate of Kiswahili in Uganda. You know, Kiswahili has been debated for long whether to be promoted or not. And now I pick up ideas from different people. And the first person I have here is the VC of Kawara University and other big important people that they are going to share their ideas about Kiswahili. Let's go. Um, Professor Joy Kwesiga, Vice Chancellor of Kawara University. I think this forum is very important for promotion of Kiswahili in Uganda in particular because together they are bringing together a big group which can form actually pressure group as it were to, to make sure that the policy makers are taking more steps to consolidate the teaching of Swahili and the utilization of You don't realize how important it is to be able to speak your own language and communicate with other people. So as East, East Africans and Africans in particular, this Swahili language can form our identity as Africans so that we can have a language with which we can communicate with each other at this level of Africans rather than just, you know, when you are abroad, you can't have a Ugandan with you and you are speaking in English, then people ask you, like, uh, in the UK, they say, but why don't you use your own language? They, don't, they can't follow that actually, you cannot communicate in other tongues. But this can bring us together, and for me, I value Swahili as promotion of African identity. I was once at a uh, on study leave at the University of Madison in Wisconsin. This is in the Great Lakes region of America. And I'm surprised how many students were very keen on learning African languages. There was in Swahili, there was Yoruba, I don't remember other African people. Uh, I think uh, some two Nigerian based uh, languages. But Swahili is very popular. The tourists want to learn it. The academicians want to learn it because some of the literature that they are looking up is in Swahili. And if they are interviewing the people within the East African region, it is easier if they interview them in a language that they understand. So you can see there are many you say that's why other countries are actually learning.